Welcome to Asia. You're gonna love it here. I just thought it was an exciting story, the idea of a guy taking his family to start a new job in some foreign country and a revolution breaks out. The story is a mother, father, and two little girls within this vast sea of action. And this man, Hammond, keeps coming into their life. I love the construction of the character. I love the heart of the man. There you go. Pierce showed up towards the end of filming here, and I think that gave everybody kind of a jolt of energy. I've just had fun watching the way he's played this character, which is a great character. Pierce is such a breath of fresh air in this movie. He kind of slings from the hip a little bit, but he's a little messy. I've got one, three, or five, you've got two and six. You know, to see Pierce Brosnan take on a little messiness is exciting. I said I've got one, three, and five. Give okay, it that's three there. No, it's not. The clock is based on my head, not on my feet. You happy now? That's good enough. He's a man who is more than the sum of his parts in some ways. Kind of soulless, heartless, and yet a very joyous fellow because he loves what he does. You're not just here for the girls, are you? No. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> Pierce has that kind of rare charm. Like, he can say anything and it just makes you love him more. We wanted to see a really ruddy, sort of slovenly, like a different side of Pierce. We had seen The Matador and we thought, you know, Pierce, when he gets into more character mode and does something a little bit out of his strike zone, he's so fascinating. And can we convince him to do something like that? Julian in The Matador is kind of a post-bond. He's a hitman. He's one of those characters that can be bad and still so charming at the same time. And that's that's a very hard thing to pull off. And Pierce probably does it better than anyone. There's four of them in the tower. Now I'm going to draw fire. I want you to run like hell for that staircase. You want to stand me? You ready? Wait, wait, wait. wait. You ready? OK. OK. Go! Good filmmakers, good storytellers, great cast. That's why I did it. Just get your family the hell out. Hi, it's Lisa with a quick movie fact from 1982's Blade Runner. Did you know the title had nothing to do with the Philip K. Dick story the film is based on? Instead, it comes from Alan E. Norse's 1974 novel about the supply of black market medical supplies in a dystopian future. Hmm, interesting, hey? Now hit that subscribe button to keep updated on all the latest trailer releases.